my buddy Mike and back out to the garden. This is Tosh Martinez. And here's the carrot bed. Alright, so update. We had two weeks of cold. So some of these carrot, especially the greens, have a little bit of frostbite, which you're going to see. But other than that, everything's growing pretty well. Except for one. Well, three sections, but we'll get into that when we get closer to the garden, well, closer to the bed. But other than that, everything's going well so far. So let's go ahead and bring you guys down. All right, first thing first is the cosmic purples. Now these were one of the very first to pop up and um, you're about to see. They have gotten pretty tall. At least the greens have. So the green has officially gone over. So these, most of them are about a good five feet. I mean, sorry, five inches tall. And they're doing pretty well. Now we do got a little bit of frostbite. Uh, let me see if I can show you. No. So we do got a little bit of frostbite on these where they may have not been secured enough, but they're looking pretty good. Now at this moment, there's not much I can tell you about what's going on under the ground, but they're looking pretty strong. And like I said, other than a little bit of frostbite, they're doing pretty well. So next up are short and streets. These came up this on week 14. Well, I mean, sorry, this came up day 14. So a little a week behind the cosmic purples. But they're looking pretty good too. Now these had the most damage when it came to having frostbite. And here is evidence of it right here. Where it's just dead at the tips the same over here however they're doing pretty well on growth we got a lot of new leaves coming in even with the frost the damaged leaves they are still growing pretty well and as you can see they're quite filling out the bed just like the cosmic purples so doing pretty good so far, other than a little bit of weather damage. I'm pretty happy with these. So the next up is Petite Fingers. Now this one here, the bag didn't have as many seeds, so it's not as compacted as the others are. And because of that, we are having some weeds pop in. Which at this stage, how t the, a the age we are at, we should just go ahead and just pull it out. But we're doing pretty good. We got some nice growth and I'll go out for you guys. I uh, said so these are the pet uh, petite little fingers. And as you can see, this part of the bed versus this part of the bed. Yeah, I think I spray... Um, I put too much on this side and didn't did not um, spread it out evenly which well it's me so that tends to happen come on come on where are you just there you go pull that sucker out and like I said, this is one of the ones that had the least amount, one of the least amount of seeds in it. But it's doing pretty good. Alright, so my least favorite at the moment, well, least favorite period, is the Easy Soul Long, Long Imperial Carrots. As you see, can tell, I got nothing going on 
except maybe one, two, three, maybe four or five little sprouts versus everything else that we planted. So this is the one that was covered with clay. And wow, wow, wow. So the easiest those are the ones that cover clay. And here's one of the clays right now. So this has been in the soil for almost, well, actually it's been in the soil for a month and a week. So about 38 days. I was a day 40. Yeah, about 38 to 42 days. But look at that. And the seed's still intact, so either I'm doing something wrong or it just doesn't like me. Let me see. Here's another one that just broke up in my hand. So this, it's moist. It got some moisture to it. It's just. I think the seeds are old, but they were all from last year's batch. So I just think it is not meant to be the easy sows with me. And I am just going to let that be. Next up are the red cores. And these have done pretty well as well. These are one of the very first ones that popped up on day seven. Uh, we got a little bit of frost damage to them. Other than the peas trying to get a hold of the carrots. And some annoying weed system. They have done pretty well. Let me go ahead and do it show you guys what they look like from being further away and they've really filled out this had a lot of seeds in it i think this one was the they had about two 200 seeds give or take a few so it's looking pretty well other than a little bit of frost damage to it i like where it's going and we'll continue on from there Next up are the Denver Half Longs. Now this one had very little seeds to it. And this one had maybe the most damage from frost on it. I mean, even my peas on this side got frost damage. But here are a couple right here. I think I may have lost a few of them. But as you can see, I did get some damage and the reason why I say this had the most is because this had the least germination out of well one of the least germination out of the five that germinated and let me show you guys the Denver half longs and as you can see it didn't have much of a germination compared to the others but it had a great deal of some damage done to it from the frost from getting so cold so this did have compared to the others, the majority of the damage. Now, I did have these covered up with two cloths, and they tend to work. I just think it's either had, it just did not work well, or had something wrong. But even like I said, this one right here for the sweet peas has even some damage to it. Now these peas are not really covered up, so it must have had a really strong gust of wind, or uh, not a gust of wind, um, some ice, some water on it, and then it semi um, got cold enough for it to do some water damage, some frost damage. But other than that, everything looks good. Like I said, my peas, dealing with the weather, they're still growing, so. It hasn't gotten really that cold, that cold, because the peas are not being um, covered. Everything else is being covered, but what's sticking out has not been. So I know it's gotten cold, but not really that cold, but cold enough to do some damage. So in the long one, I'm still happy with my germinations. 
I got five out of six. I'm giving up on number six. If I get one carrot, I'd be very happy. Ugh. But so far, so good. Still good. They're growing and we're still getting a lot of new leaves. Even with the minimal damage that they have to the tips of the leaves, they are still growing pretty well. See this side versus this side. Still happy with that. So maybe next time I have to also look and compare the amount of seeds. Well, not bad. Not bad at all, I say myself. Alright, I covered everything back up for another reset for today. And we'll go from there. So I'm giving up on the uh, Easy Souls. If they would have germinated, they should have germinated by now. And if I do get any carrots for them, that would just be a plus. If you're cold, go inside. Ugh, talking to Tina. But out of the germination I got, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm pretty happy that it's still growing. Even though we had the a week of, with the cold spells. Now next week it's not supposed to be as cold during the day, we're getting up to the mid 60s, or well, between the 60s to mid 60s. So that um, is pretty good. The nights are still going to be a little chilly, but we can still see what's going on from there. Ooh. We're cleaning out, they're cleaning out the brush in the back. Let's see if I can show you. There's a fire going on cleaning out the back to where they plan on doing some building. Actually, just clearing out about eight feet of the property that's been taken over by hole. That's been taken over by the brush from over the years. But like I said, so at the moment I gave it up on the easy sew. So we got five out of five so far. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that there is a little bit of damage, a little bit of frost damage. I mean, even the lettuces have some frost damage to it, but they're still going pretty strong. So it did get colder than I expected. Way colder for this time of for us at this time of year. And everything that was summer has already left. So those tomatoes that are holding on are gone. I mean, even my, can't even show you. It's gone. And this is the ground cherries. We had one day where it just totally and completely went cold and haywire. My ground cherry is gone. It held out the best it could. Other than that, everything from the summer is gone. So we just begin again. Uh, we have moved some stuff around in the garden, if you haven't told. But I'm, like I said, I'm really happy with the carrots are still there. Surprised they survived. But we'll see as we go on from there. Other than that, I'm getting back inside because it's getting chilly. Let's see if I can make some kimchi. Alright, other than that, this is Tasha Martinez signing off. See you guys later. He's just as cleaning. Like I said, he's cleaning out the brush. So I will see you guys later. Hopefully see you out there some someday. Sometime. Have some fun.
if you have a chance, get outdoors, get outdoors. But do try to stay warm and try to stay safe. But other than that, I'm signing off. Until next time. Bye.